What you're about to see is taken from Rebel Base, IGN's weekly Star Wars show. We make the prequels look good. In the last week or so, um, Lawrence Kasdan has... Come Run in his mouth. <laughs> Lazar. Um, <laughs> he said that the young Han Solo movie he is writing, yeah. co-writing, will um, be kind of an origin story of the relationship of Han and Chewie. So okay. he's confirmed that Chewie is in the movie, something that I guess we thought would be the case, but we didn't know to what extent. Yeah. So I was wondering, while Chewie absolutely makes sense to be in that movie, like yeah. Chewie and Han are inseparable. Like Batman and Robin. Yeah. Um, so the, what are you saying then is that that film is going to be about them, like a little I think movie. so, yeah. Oh, yeah. And like how maybe they form this relationship. Okay, right, yeah. Um, and I was wondering, like, you kind of don't want them to like, just throw loads of cameos in it. But if there were to be cameos, who would you like to see in it is mm. my question. Well, I think Jabba the Hutt's got to be in it. Yeah. Um, he's straight on the list yeah I think Jabba the Hutt's got to be in it because he they've talked the thing that I like about his relationship with Jabba the Hutt and also Lando who's also on your list as well is when you meet the ruin it no 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 but like the what I'm saying is I'm grouping them together <sighs> when you see those people when you see those people in the Star Wars films I really like the idea that they've got this relationship and they're like hey you old bastard like do you know what I mean like I like that I don't think he says the B word but do you know what I mean I, I like the idea <laughs> that they've had this relationship and they've had this life together yeah. and I want to see more and I kind of want to see more of that so well, La Lando's absolutely got to be in it so you've taken two of my three choices yep. right I put oh, yeah. <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> unbelievable um Jabba the Hutt. I Why did you go Jabba the Hutt? <laughs> well, actually, different reason. Okay, good. I mainly wanted to see what he looked like when he was young. <laughs> I reckon he looks exactly the same. No, thinner. Thin no. <laughs> thinner with a bow tie. Shake weight. Uh, no, I don't think... Thinner with a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> with that neck, you would not use a bow tie. No, but in my... That, if anything, imagine the bunching. In my head, I was thinking about Jabba the Hutt for some reason, like, dressed up in a prom outfit going to prom. With Han? Yeah, I don't know. Like, you know in Monsters, in Monsters University when you see them, like, But that's what this uh, all, all feel... Like, even though these lists of all characters, <laughs> and I'm thinking about this as, like, Monsters University, yeah. and they're all, like, at high school together. I don't think that's what they're going to be doing with this film. But Maybe why not. not? Maybe not. You don't know, do Like, you? Jabba was, like, the bullied kid. <laughs> he just couldn't get into his desk oh, oh. no I don't say that okay but Lando like him and Lando I think you know doing little missions and stuff like that together that'd be pretty good then they got to cast another Lando as well which means the internet's got to explode because of that yeah so it's also like you know they should cast an Asian actor to play Lando and just what literally have to unplug the internet for the day just to see what happens but that's your response to everything <laughs> yeah <laughs> um my other choice, my final choice, was Greedo. And yeah. that's, again, that kind of taps into Lando and Jabba. It's like, when you see Han, he's a guy that's gone around the galaxy creating problems yeah. and betraying people and smooth-talking other people. And Greedo is another one of those people he obviously has history with. Yeah. And it's one of the most iconic scenes in all of Star Wars. And possibly that is why it's great. You know yeah. a little more about it. Um, it, I think it'd be good to just see him again, see another interaction. Yeah. It's, all this stuff is kind of Catch-22. It's that, yeah. You, you, it's the same with the Boba Fett spin-off movie, if it happens. That character, such cool design, they're engraved in your memory because they're in iconic scenes. Yeah. And you don't know anymore. And it's like when we found out more about Jango Fett and Boba Fett's backstory. Do we need it's it? Shy, yeah. But not necessarily, you know, what we said before on the show is like, the execution could be amazing, yeah. so it does work. Yeah, that's. The, I think it has to be. Um, I was going to say, it has to be good or it's bad. No, but that's the thing. With stuff like this, I don't think... It's the fan's dilemma. I think this is the fanboy's yeah. dilemma. Because this is You want more it, of this stuff. You want more of it. And then when you give it to you, you're like, yeah. uh, not quite Cause what it, I want it. But for me, though, it's not like, it's not like you know, inferring in the, the first three... Uh, or four, five, and six of Star Wars. It's not like inferring where the force comes from. And then uh, George Lucas taking that upon him and going, right, okay, I'm going to tell you exactly how the force works. It's not that spoils that for me because like knowing very little about how the force works is actually makes it more mysterious and cool. Yeah. And actually when it's just laid out in front of you, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. that's not as interesting. Yeah. Whereas and it, like actually seeing the result, like seeing, we've seen the result of a relationship gone bad sort of thing with him and Greedo and actually seeing why that's gone to there and what he did is quite funny. It's, it's the pressure of doing all, filling in all these gaps. Yeah. Every time you tell another Star Wars story, you remove ambiguity yeah. and mystery. 
Why we I'll tell you who's not on the list? Kanji Club. That should be on here. Yeah? Kanji Club. Is it just in Glasgow? Yeah. Have we worked that out? I don't know. No, it was just that dude who's Glaswegian. Are they all Glaswegian? Yeah. I just I uh, want to imagine it as basically we talked about this before, I think. Like it is like Phoenix Knights. No, but he's not the Glasgow guy isn't in Kanji Club. Is it not the other one? Oh yeah, he's yeah. like oh. he says Tell us how and actually it's uh, the guys from the raid who are in Kanji Club. What would you think if him? someone did that impression but of a Welsh person? <laughs> I, can't do a, like... I can't do a Scotch accent. I can't do it. People do that when they do the Welsh accent. So I'm, I've got carte blanche. But actually, us and the Scotch probably need to stick together. So it's probably... Stop, stop calling them the Scotch. <laughs> they like it. They don't like it. <laughs> they bottled me when you said it. <laughs> the stereotype there. Um, I, I put Santa Solo. The sort of uh, estranged wife of Han Solo well, that we met in the yeah, comics. Well, he denies it. Yeah. But I'd like to see what's going on there, and if, if whether or not he's the scoundrel we know him to be. I think that's probably not paying alimony. Yeah, I think that's going to be up there. Santa is definitely. There. I'd like to see Ben Kenobi just in the background somewhere. <laughs> like, where's Wally? No, but like I'd like to see Ewan McGregor as uh, like Obi Wan just in the background. Just watching. Never seen. Just like he's aware of him. Do you know what I mean? It's just in Mos Eisley, just yeah. drinking. Because, like, yeah, he, he when they when they get to Mos Eisley, he seems to have a good idea of who to go to and stuff yeah, and like what's that. what. Like, yeah, so I think it's in the background because Ben Solo, even though he was watching, um, not Ben Solo, Ben Kenobi, even though he was watching uh, Luke for a while, you have gotta have down days, haven't you? Like, oh, what's Luke up today? He's working on the farm. I'm not. I'm not standing there. What's Luke doing? He's seven. Like, I'm not standing there while he's working on a farm all yeah. day. I might as well work there. I'm yeah. just watching him. I might as well put the hours in myself and make some money. Paid. Yeah. He's like, look, I'm just giving a jawa some credit. Like, look, just sit here. If something happens, give me a shout. I'm going to the pub. I thought you were going to say something. I thought, here, Jawa, here's some credits. Let me punch you. No. <laughs> well, that's how he fills his days. Like in Mr. Robot. No, he's probably on the piss, isn't he? Like, he's probably just like, do you know what? I've watched this kid for six days. I'm having Sunday off. I don't care. Like, I hope nothing happens to him. Sunday I'll come is Obi-Wan's day. Yeah. I'll set up my force head. Yeah. So if I, if I can hear him and if something happens, then but I'll it's, come it's, a, it's a day for me. Yeah. I'm going to go into town. <laughs> I'm going to make me feel special. Yeah, exactly. And while he's there... going to buy a new brown robe. He maybe sees Han Solo. But I've also got Kanan as well because like, even though I keep banging on about Rebels, that's... Like, Kanan is well pitched to be part of like the Han Solo thing. Would you get Freddie Prince to play him? No. <sighs> Well, oh, no, I not? wouldn't, because he's got a good voice, but he does you know, that's... He's already played that, he is that character. But he'd be younger as well. Oh, he would be, yeah. Like, so you'd have to yeah. get someone younger. That's, yeah. Maybe... Oh, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not casting another cartoon character as a real person. I've done this too many times in my career at IGN. I've been burnt.